Okay, this, uh, this script in Python here uh, lets you highlight some text, and you see this is an HTML code to, to color highlight some uh, some text to put uh, in uh, in, a, in an HTML page. So um, what I did uh, practically, um, I put here I call this highlight function here, and it's in this multi-line string I write a code that I want to highlight. So this goes inside this function here, and the output will be an HTML like uh, like this one with all the HTML tags that you can then uh, copy and paste, copy and paste into uh, an HTML page. In fact, if this was saved as an HTML uh, page, uh, we can view it in the browser, if, if, even if we will see this this stuff here uh, that you don't have to copy. So if you, if you watch it into the browser, there it is, your, without this thing here, your code. And in my HTML code, so I have also um, saved the, the HTML file here with this line of code here, and I made it start with this one, so when I run it, you will see it into Chrome, and you can see the the code also here you can copy this there is this nbs mb space and space and space here uh, that is the space that i use it to indent the page uh, you see it at the the end you can avoid this we have mm, if you do this for example you can avoid it see there is there isn't anymore and let's see how to do this uh, line by by line let me watch it and remember what i did i imported rayos then i created this uh, list of mm, keywords then i passed this uh, list of code with this for loop and I added the orange color then I added uh, to the code mm, I substituted this tab into four spaces and then I find it with find refine all this string every word that uh, ends with a um, with a parenthesis open parenthesis I made it in blue color then I passed the code I wanted to do into this function and I printed it right the file start the file so let's do now that I remember what I did let's do it again so we're gonna import ray uh, this is a module to uh, let me make it like a tutorial for high light Dot, dot five. So I imported the ray. Ray is a model that makes me find a string, a sub substring into a string. And we need to find a substring that is a function, that is a word that is that has at the end a parenthesis. And then I import OS, that is just to save the file, the HTML file, make it visible, is just for that uh, I could um, I could just print this one at the console and then copy and paste it in my HTML file. So let's define this um, function that I want to call hike light. And then I paste the code here. So uh, let me see, let me write nothing here, let me see pass or return zero for now. Right, and what I'm going to do is to uh, create a variable that takes the result of the highlight function, and in this one I will put a multi-line string. Into the multi-line string I will do my, for example, the foo, um, and print hello world, and it could be longer, and let's say return, return, no, or return zero, right? So just to write a simple function here, nothing fancy, and what I'm going to do is to, and First of all, I'm going to define the keywords. So the keywords uh, will be the words that I want to be highlighted in orange. So, uh, for example, the return. And so I can add it as I go on. There are many keywords, of course. I could find on the internet all the keywords for Python, for example. Python keywords. Python keywords list, for example. There must be something in there somewhere. Yeah, for example, this one. Look at this. Yeah. Let me copy. Okay, import keyword and print keyword list. There is also this module that does it. So import keyword. Let's do it. And let's delete this for now. And let's print uh, keyword keylist. Keyword dot k keylist. Run it. Nothing really happens. Keyword. I don't know if this is a module. Keyword key keyword list. Okay. Right. I, okay. Okay. This is it. So at this point, I don't need to write there is not the... I don't think there are... Oh, okay, these are the keywords. Okay, so I can make... Give you... Okay, I can make now for k in keywords dot... So I'm, I'm making it a little different from what I did before. And, okay, I can make this one in orange. So I'm gonna do code equal code dot replace k with what? I wanna replace k with... Um, B style. This is HTML. So I'm gonna make a bold characters, uh, and the style will be uh, in a color. I wanna make it dark red. So I don't think I got anything here. Um, death. There is death. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let me leave it in uh, dark red, and then I wanna add to this my key, and then the end. Okay. The end of the tag. So let me print this for the moment, and let me see what we got. And let me delete this, don't need this. I got known because this one, okay, because I have to return to return code. And okay, there it is. This is what I generated now. Let me see in the browser what it look like, looks like. Okay, it's not good because there is something wrong that is this apostrophe goes here. And I need to replace, okay, mm, yes, 
I need to do code equal code dot replace into the into the string. I need to replace the dash n. So the you can see, but you can see it. But here there is a dash n, a new line character here. Then I'm going to substitute with br so that it will go uh, to the next line. Also, in the, if I go here and I view in the browser, you see that now it goes to the next line. But there is still some error in the code. Let me take a look at it. Color style color dark red. Please key with this one. Hmm. This should work. Let me see where is the mistake here. There must be okay. The style equal color. Okay, this time you can call. Okay, oh yeah, now I understand. There is, in the keywords, there is the or. That's, that is uh, one of the keywords. So, this is not good. Um, to substitute uh, the, the or words, it will give me uh, an error here. So, um, how can we fix it? You know, or should be into um, in between spaces, not, not, not attached to this one. Um, so, um, I could make a little trick here. Yeah, I can make a little a simple thing that comes to my mind, that is this. I want to transform k into a... with two spaces. I don't know if it works, frankly, I'm just going to try it. What is the result of this? The footprint, okay, it's... Yeah. The definition, okay, this is not good for def, because def has, hasn't got, haven't got, has, has not the... So I think I must... Or, no, sorry. Well, if I delete this one, it should work. Yes, okay. Now it works when the word is okay, okay. And I'm not sure that we will work with them. Okay, for now we have fixed it, let it stay this way. Now there is another thing that I want to do the indentation. Okay, code equal code dot replace uh, the dash t that there is, but it's here, even if it's invisible, with the, the HTML and the SP. And column four times when I give it four spaces. Let me see if what it looks like, if it works. Yes, now there is indentation, so we're done. Mm, but if we want this one, the print and the foo, to be blue because they are functions, and, that, and what we can do is to recognize. Okay, any words? Follow it by a space, by a um, parenthesis. And I have to look into code. Okay, you see that I found here two functions, two, yes, full and print. I'm going to use a blue color. I'm going to substitute the function without the parentheses. So from uh, the string from 0 to minus 1 without the, the last one. And as you can see now, they are colored in in blue. Um, if we want, we can also save this file, this uh, this code here into a file, into an HTML file, and then open it. So now here I'm writing the file with this HTML code, and then I'm opening it, uh, opening it with OSR file. Let's see what we get. 
there it is this is the file so you can copy this into this or you can go here and do visualize the source code and copy this and bring in it into your HTML page but you also have it if you open your folder you will have this one this file HTML with this code also just saved so you can choose what you can do and put it into your blog uh, to highlight your test I hope this will help you to highlight tests without plugins or whatever if you are not in uh, WordPress and you have your site like uh, for example in glitch and things like that if you get glitch uh, glitch.mean um, site you can also use Python into this into it and you can implement the script directly into the the Python code but we will talk about this in uh, another post thank you